hope you're hungry because I have a great hour of lots of amazing treats and things for you to get the holidays going to be really easy. We're going to start out with this perfect item. It's called Taste of Home Great Flavors. It's a three count of stock concentrate. So you are getting the beef stock concentrate, the chicken stock concentrate, and the vegetable stock concentrate. You are also getting a great flavors cookbook. And for the first time, we are including the cookbook. And I love that. It's a customer pick with 26 reviews on hsn.com. Now, this is really an innovative product. So this is a concentrate. And one of these jars will make 72 cups or 18 of those large cartons of stock. And this is for cooking anything that you use to cook um, stock with. <clears throat> but we're going to introduce our guest. Rhonda Pearson is here. And we're going to get cooking right away. Hey, how are hey. you? Hey! So these, so first of all, I want <coughs> yes. everyone to know that one of these mm -hmm. equals uh, 72 cups, and 72 cups is actually 18 of those liquid broths mm -hmm. that you use, right? And then you stick in your refrigerator, you forget about it, and when you go to need it, they're expired, right? So one of these is 18 of these, and the <coughs> nice thing about these is you never have to refrigerate them. So great flavors, stock concentrates, never have to be refrigerated. They're gluten-free, they're reduced <coughs> sodium, which is amazing. And the most important thing I want everyone to look at is the beef and the chicken have a little tiny thing there from the US. SDA. And what that is, is it's telling you that there's so much meat in this product that the USDA actually has to approve it. Oh my gosh. So, so this <clears> is for the, uh, and what you're getting is three. You're getting the beef, the chicken, and the vegetable. And yeah. I'm going to make some gravy while we right. do it. Right. And you are also getting the cookbook. Now, I did one of the very first presentations of the Taste of Home Great Flavors here at HSN. And I, I pick, after the presentation, I, I got them home. And I've been cooking with them ever since. And one of my favorite things is if I'm doing a recipe and I'm like, oh, I've forgot to go out and buy stock I thought oh you know what you open it up it has an 18 month shelf life after you open it up isn't and you don't need to refrigerate it <laughs> it's amazing the, the, isn't that amazing it is amazing it's, and what are you making wanna, there well I don't want everyone to think of that you know you're using this for soups and for stews and for all kinds of uh, sauces but this is one of everybody's favorite here at HSN I stick this out in the hall afterwards and people go nuts this is just some uh, sour cream yes you add the beef to it and you've got this amazing dip Ooh. Ooh. Right? Oh, so, so good. Everyone loves oh, it. Oh, I have to try that. No, yes, you Look will. Look at that. So it's just a little bit of the beef stock. And, and, and is this in the recipe book that we're so getting the, here? So you're getting a recipe it's only, book. It's only, two, it's only two ingredients. I think I can remember that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right? You're getting the recipe yes, book. The recipe book does have this French onion soup. Ooh, so I want you to look at that look at when that. you're thinking of the beef. We can also use that for French onion soup. I'm going to make some gravy here in a second as soon as this is ready to go. Okay. And then I'm going to do some... I'm going to come on this side and, and I'm going to try the whatever this is. Is. That's the, the dip. The, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Now, this is a typical, mm. it could be a, um, a uh, I don't know, a stew. You mm -hmm. can make this a chili. You can add a little. You can add a lot. And what you're doing is adding flavor as if it's been roasted all day. So if you get home oh. quickly and you don't have the time to really do something for a long time, I'm going to make your chicken soup here for a moment. Tastes just like chicken soup. But you're, all you have is boiling water because this does all, we do have done all the work for you. This is long simmered. Mm -hmm. you, oh, wow. So, Can I just say how good that dip is? It was just sour cream and some of the beef stock. A amazing. And this is the beef stew. And again, you can use chili. Uh, a lot of people use turkey meat for the chili, add the beef flavoring, and you're, you, you actually oh. have the turkey meat with the beef flavor. Right, then Amazing. you've got a lot less calories, it, it, too. Right, Because it's just right. giving that richness. And, you know, there's actually kind of a whole movement about drinking broth to, you know, it fills you up and, and, and right. so good oh, for yeah, you. Right, oh, yeah, broth thing. So I need a, this is not on. Okay, we're yeah. going to work on that. Okay. Yeah. So also I want you to think about this uh, beef yes. here for um, the meatloaf. I'm going to eat more of these. These yes. are so Aren't good. They oh so my good? gosh, I can't so, stop so eating good. it. Uh. The gravy is the most amazing, mm. which we're going to do uh, for you. Okay, we're just okay, going to move on. Okay, let's just go over here. Move on. Okay, I was just talking a moment ago mm -hmm. about the, um, the gravy. Right. So I'm going to go chicken gravy. We can do this with beef as well. Take a little bit of cornstarch right. or flour, right. water, or milk, whatever you prefer. You want to take it and just put it into a nice hot pan like so. So that's cornstarch, 
or flour, or flour, milk, or water, whatever you and prefer. And that's it. And then you that's put the, the great taste, the great flavors in there. Right, the you taste mix of it home. in there. And, and there's your gravy. In a nice hot pan, and there's your gravy. Now this is the same for beef. You do the exact same. I was thing excited. For beef. I thought I was going to get to do oh, that. <laughs> as soon as we get the beef going, we'll have you do that. You no, know, no, for sure. Or, and, or we could just bring it over to this burner, which is work, working. <laughs> yeah, I'll just switch it over. And then there you have it. You can choose. The, <gasps> Look at okay, that. Okay, and you can change. There's the, my hot turkey sandwich. There's your hot turkey sandwich. Oh my gosh. And it, it, I love all the things you can do. And with the holidays coming up, honestly, I feel like the stock is something that, or the gravy is the one that you can kind of panic if you, if you don't think. But this is so simple, so, so easy. And remember, when you open it up, to me, this, just listen to this part, 18 months shelf life and you don't even have to put it in the refrigerator. That's right. That's amazing to me. Now look, this yeah. is some chicken and rice here. Right. I'm going to ask Joelle for the um, mashed potatoes. Joelle, can you get those for we're going to have? Here's mashed oh, potatoes right oh, here. Oh, you have them there. Okay. I got them right in my well, let's hand. Let's try some right now. Well, put, I do I'll this. put a little gravy on it yeah. right here and then I'll do it right up front and maybe we'll get a nice okay. little shot so of that. So this is, ba take basic rice you have at home or a yeah. rice packet. You're in a hurry. Your kids have just come home. All you're going to add is a little bit of chicken, a little bit of broccoli and guess what add a little bit of this mm. and you've got a nice as if, it's, as if it's been roasted all day long and again remember this chicken has enough real chicken in it that the USDA has uh, given its seal of approval it's gluten-free it's low sodium and it is uh, given the the taste of home kitchen seal of approval. Look at that. Is that fabulous? Now that recipe looked like two seconds. By the way, can we get a, a nice little close up of my mashed potatoes here? Because you've got your mashed potatoes, and if your All gravy right, isn't just right, um, I just poured a little bit of that gravy over it, and you can see just that perfect, perfect gravy. And you've already got everything that you need. You just put a little bit of either cornstarch or flour, and then use a little bit of milk or water, and then your concentrate, which is right here, and then you've got perfect gravy every single time. And once you open this by the way you've got 18 months unrefrigerated no for it to be good to go so I, I've I've used it for so many different things I've used it to make a uh, casserole I make a tuna casserole and I, I gave it like a little bit more oomph with it oh I just I mean I you know stew I'm gonna make soups. stuffing here in a minute yeah. and a dip you can do mm -hmm. it on roasted vegetables I'm gonna show you a mm. basic pot of boiling water you've just come home your daughter's hungry like my right. daughter gets hungry yeah they want something good but you know you didn't have time and you forgot about the slow cooker or the pot the pressure cooker this is you add enough of the flavor. You decide how much yes. you want the flavor to, to you know, how strong you want it or how, uh, uh, um, what was the word I'm thinking of? I don't you know. You adjust it to your flavor. I don't <laughs> you know. You adjust anyway. it to your flavor. Now look at that. We already have but soup. But you know what, Rhonda? I want to talk about something one more time because when I want you to think about this, I, do you get stressed for the holidays and you think of somebody comes, you know, people coming over, it really is the gravy and the sauce. That is what I feel like is above my pay grade when it comes to cooking. But this gravy was made with... The chicken, which is included, you're getting chicken, beef, and vegetable. You do a little bit of this, cornstarch, flour, and then water or milk. That's all you have to do, and it took two seconds. Do you want to try it down here? Sure. Actually, I will do it live right in front of you. Yes. You guys know my cooking talent is pretty much zero. <laughs> so all right, I, this wasn't hot earlier, but we're going to do it now. Yeah. Here's and, a hot pan. Right. Let me. Right. I, I, let me. Let me stir it up because okay. you just put a little bit of water, a little bit of flour, cornstarch. This is the beef gravy, and then a little in. bit of beef gravy. And let me just show you what the beef gravy is. This is it right there. Here's the beef stock. Let's get a shot. Yep. So I want you to see me actually make it. So I'll, I'll put it in the shot. There it is right okay. there. So and I put a little is, bit in. and then sure I'm just, the pan is hot. Just pour it in. It feels very hot yep. now. Yeah. Okay. Take the whisk. Okay. All right. And start whisking it. Look at that. Bubbly. Beautiful. You know, perfect. You know, I mean, you can even, if you want to get fancy, you can add like some mushrooms or, or whatever. A but little they, bit of wine. Yeah, there you it is. You can put it over a steak. You can use this in your mashed potatoes. Now, quickly, I want to talk about the vegetable because it's always the forgotten concentrate. The wait, wait. I want some of my mashed okay, potatoes all right, right here. And then I'll run over to the, to the yeah. vegetables. All right. Okay, so now, I want you to get... A, can we do a shot of this as Rhonda's going to go elsewhere? But I, we've just got a couple more minutes. The, I just made that gravy. Delicious, hot, uh, you know, even, you know, everyday meals. It's really the mashed potatoes. That's pretty easy. Boil the potatoes and put some butter and milk in it and smush them up. But even I can do that. But the gravy... 
navy, I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. But n with this, I'm telling you, I did one of the first presentations. Make it every, every time it comes out absolutely perfect. And at $39.95, you're getting three of the concentrates. And let me go show you for a second what that concentrate will do. So one concentrate right here will make all of these. And you see these cartons right here. You know, we get it. You open it up. You use this much. And then it goes bad and you throw it away. How much money have you wasted? Now, with one concentrate, you're able to do all of this. And remember, once you open it up and use a little bit, it, you can stay it. 18 months, not even in the fridge. That's right. So you're saving so much money, yeah, Rhonda. one of those makes um, 72 cups. We 72 didn't talk cups. about the vegetable. I just want to show everybody. <laughs> yep. There is a vegetable one. You want to be sure that you mm. uh, squirt this on some for roasted mm. vegetable. You can use it in a stuffing mix. Add yes. all of your things that you need. Put it on a dip with some... Um, other ingredients like that okay. and add a little bit. Well, you're going to be back at 1 p.m., right? I am indeed. All right. So, guys, uh, I, this is one of my favorite products, it's, it's, whether you're the best